Welcome to DIY or Die. Today is a popularly requested video. We're going to be talking about nicotine salts. DIY or Die, Walker Vapor Group LLC, or any of its associates do not condone nor encourage the use of nicotine, vapor products, or any mood altering substances without the explicit consent of a physician. The content viewable on this channel is strictly for entertainment purposes only and not meant to be seen as informational or educational. Must be 21 years or older to view these materials. First and foremost, you saw the disclaimer, and I need to say this, but I do not recommend nor encourage the use of nicotine or any vapor products for that matter, unless a physician has explicitly given you, um, you know, orders to, to use it in some sort of way. Now with nicotine salts, they're not difficult to use. You use them the same as you would free-based nicotine. It's just, there. there's just a little bit more knowledge required when working with um, nicotine salts. And uh, I wanna talk to you today about them. So nicotine salts are pretty popular these days. Um, a few companies have actually revitalized their, their work thanks to this newfound nicotine and Generally speaking, there are two companies that sell the most nicotine salts. Now, one of the companies is Nicotine River, which I have here, and the other, which in which I think is the originator of the nicotine salts, which is Nude Nicotine. And a lot of the, the industry uses Nude Nicotine and Nicotine River in their nicotine salt form, uh, formulations. Nowadays, more companies, they're starting to get their own sort of nicotine salt blends made for them, proprietary blends made for them. I guess it just helps with costs. But these two companies, Nicotine River and New Nicotine, were the, the biggest um, proprietors of nicotine salts. And it made a huge splash. We saw companies like Mr. Salty, which started out as a, you know, sort of a niche product, explode. And now it's one of the most popular nicotine salts available. Obviously, the Juul contains a, a nicotine salt proprietary formulation, and the Juul is extremely popular, probably the most popular uh, product in vaping. And the list goes on. There's a lot of companies piling on. And the reason being is because with nicotine salts, there are a few new things that add to the experience. So one is that you can vape at a higher nicotine level while it feeling like a lower nicotine level. So with me, I personally vape one milligram of nicotine. I make my own stuff. So one milligram of nicotine is just enough for me. Um, and it doesn't add any harshness. It's nice and smooth, but I still get a little bit of the buzz. And if I were to vape six milligrams, which sometimes I do, if I go to a shop and I want to try an e-liquid, they'll only have a six milligrams, I'll vape it. And it's extremely harsh. You get that kind of thump to your chest. And uh, that's because the nicotine is just, it's just too much. Now nicotine salts kind of changes the game a little bit because now I can vape a six milligram nicotine with nicotine salt formulation and it will feel as smooth as a one, two, three milligram. I can vape up to 12, I can vape up to 24, 36, 48, 56 milligrams of nicotine. And, it, and that harshness um, isn't exponential like it is with, with regular nicotine. You can also have it on the other side of things where you wanna vape a lower nicotine strength but have it feel like a higher nicotine strength. Now with nicotine salts, it's a much more efficient way to get nicotine into your body and that's why a lot of people enjoy it. And the way that some companies can formulate the nicotine, they can actually make it hit a little bit harder, but also keeping you at a lower level. So when you go to purchase a, a nicotine salt, you'll notice there's like a smooth option, a normal option, and then like a hit option. And the hit option is actually going to give you um, somewhat of like a, more of a higher nicotine like throat hit or a punch, but at lower levels. So if I'm someone who wants to vape something like this, a Mi Pod or a Soren Drop, and I want it to feel like a 12 milligram nicotine, but I don't want to go up to 12 milligram, I want to lower my nicotine, I want to get off of nicotine. Well, I can use the hit options of the nicotine salts to give me that uh, satisfaction. So it's a really customizable experience um, with nicotine salts as opposed to just regular nicotine, which is, I'm all for it, man. If you, if you can really fine tune your vape, your juice, your mod, your coil to exactly how you want, exactly what's gonna get you off of cigarettes, that I'm all for it. Now in the industry, there are concerns about addiction and there are concerns about people raising their nicotine levels with vapor products because obviously when you get into vaping, you should be looking to decrease your nicotine levels and just remove yourself completely from all vapor and tobacco products. But I think that all comes from a demonization of nicotine. You know, when it comes to caffeine, people don't have that sort of judgment upon it because it's, it, it's just not as demonized as nicotine. Nicotine has such a bad rap all these years. So when someone hears that, you know, people are raising their nicotine levels, you know, they kind of get an aversion to it. 
Um, but when you look at the science, it's, it's not really that damaging for you. It's not really that addicting. So what is a nicotine salt exactly? Well, the easiest way to kind of put it is if you think of it like this, you have cocaine and you have crack, right? When you add baking soda and a couple other esters to the cocaine, um, you know, you heat it up, you can create crack, which is a more pure, uh, more synthesized and more efficient form of cocaine. That's sort of in a pretty bad bro science -y way of putting what nicotine salt is to nicotine. You have nicotine, which is the free base form, and then you have nicotine salts, which adds in like the benzoic acid or other acids to sort of bind those nicotines together to create a more efficient nicotine and more synthesized nicotine solution. Now another question might be uh, what nicotine salt is best for me? How do I know what level of nicotine salt I should use? Um, and I'm gonna kind of give you a rough idea of how I use nicotine salts. Now because I do vape at one milligram of free base nicotine, which is an extremely low amount, I don't use much nicotine salt. I like to strictly vape on these type of products, open system vapor products with a, you know, a good amount of wattage, some nice big old coils, and I just like to drip on it and just rip on it. That's how I enjoy to vape. But sometimes I can't always vape like that, and when I, when I need something more stealthy or something more efficient and small, I'll grab something like this, which is a Mipod, or I'll grab my Juul, and in something like this, I'll actually use a 6 milligram um, e-liquid solution with the nicotine salts. Sometimes I'll go up a little bit higher depending on how much I really need. Like if I'm going somewhere where I can't vape really much at all, I might be able to get one or two hits, then I might throw in a 12 milligram option. Um, but that's pretty much it. I don't go as high as, you know, 24 up to 56 milligrams of nicotine salts. And I know some people do. And if you are going that high, I'm just gonna get this out of the way now. If you are going that high with your salt, you're going to need recipes that are very, very simple, very, very bold, and just work without much vapor production at all. So I wrote an article called Mixing for Closed System Devices on my website. You can check that out. Uh, there's a couple recipes there. Uh, but for the most part, you want to increase your flavoring percentages by a lot. I recently had a client where I gave him a bunch of nicotine salt recipes and we're reaching up to 20-25% of a total flavoring. Now some flavorings you really don't need to go that high. Um, you can actually get away with lower percentages, but you do want to lift them up higher than you normally would at those levels because that nicotine is really going to mute your flavors. You're not, just, you're not going to get much flavor out of it anyway, but if you want like a wisp of flavor, crank up your percent percentages to those recipes. And the same kind of goes for the lower end, which is what I'm gonna be mixing today. You know, the three all the way up to 12 milligram, except you don't need to crank them up that high. You can sort of stay in a more normal range, but I do like to add a few more percentages. So let's go, let's mix this up. We're gonna be mixing up um, Nicotine River's Smooth Salt Liquid Nicotine. This is the 250 milligram per milliliter option. This is the highest that they have. Um, in their salt option. This is all 100% propylene glycol. I think when you use these higher amounts, um, 250 milligram options in your salt recipes, it, it actually gives you more flavor. It doesn't affect the recipe as much because you're using a lot less of an amount. Now remember, you do have to be very careful using this. It is a higher amount of nicotine solution in here. So if you wanna wear gloves, you wanna wear goggles, you wanna be you know all geared up, then do so when you're using nicotine salts. That's, that's when you're gonna wanna use them. Okay, so again, making a really simple recipe, um, I'm only going to be using three ingredients plus sweetener. I find that sweetener really does help bring that flavor out. You need, if you want more flavor, um, then don't use like ethyl maltol or anything. Use the sucralose. If you don't want sucralose, then just leave it out. Um, but just know that the sucralose will add good flavor. I also found that super sweet sometimes interacts with the nicotine salt and kind of gives it a little bit more of a hit than I want. So I'm just going to be using just pure sucralose for the worst sweetness is, is just that. Um, not pure, but it's a diluted sucralose. There's nothing else in it. So let's go. The first ingredient is going to be Capella's lemon lime, and I'm going to be using this at 5%, which is sort of its normal range. It's a little bit higher than I would sometimes use, um, but nonetheless, it's not too crazy. Now the next ingredient we're going to be adding is Capella's Sweet Guava, and this is at 7%, which again is a little bit higher on the spectrum for this, for this flavoring. And it, I think it's uh, much needed when you're dealing with, you know, somewhat of a bolder flavor, but you know, you're kind of choking it down in these 
mouth to lung devices, these kind of pod system devices. So you really want to get as much as you can out of it. And um, you know, it's, it is a little counterintuitive. We know, we talk about it all the time in, in DIY that less is more. But for some reason, when you have these really choked down pod systems, um, you do need to increase that overall percentage in the bottle because it will give you more flavor. Make sure your profiles are nice and simple, nice and bold and, and, and uh, linear. That way, you know, you're really getting all you can out of each and every one of these ingredients. Next is Capella Sweet Mango at 7% again. I'm gonna add some nice tropicality to this mix. And then finally, the sweetener, I'm gonna be using Flavor Sweetness at 1%. I could go up to 2% with this, but, but I'm just gonna stick at 1% and um, it should be good. All right, the next ingredient I'm going to be adding is the nicotine salt. Um, remember, you wanna give this a nice good shake before including it. Uh, and also remember, I don't recommend you doing this at all. All right, and really quick, I just wanna show you how to actually input the nicotine into an e-liquid calculator. Um, for this one, I'm going to be using alltheflavors.com. It works the same for all of them. All the flavors, eliquidrecipes.com, e-juice me up. Um, so what you're going to do is open the e-liquid calculator and you're gonna see here, Nick Base. Now this is the nicotine that you have. This is the, the undiluted version of it. So here, we're gonna say yes, we wanna use nicotine in this mix. Um, the strength of the nicotine that I have, and you can see it, uh, when, what I'm mixing with, it's 250 milligrams per milliliter. So we're gonna need to input that there. And it's also a 100% PG version. Yours might be 100 milligrams per milliliter and then yours might be a 50-50 or yours might be 100% Fiji. So you need to input exactly what yours is. Um, and then right here on the bottom, you can see uh, the finished batch. Now this is what your final e-liquid bottle is going to be. So I want six milligrams of nicotine in my bottle. I want it to be a 50-50 and um, I'm making a 20 milliliter batch and it's that simple. I have to use a pipette with this bottle, which I don't mind because I don't normally use it too much. This is at 6% which is a uh, much more than I normally would use. And it's really that simple with the nicotine salt. You know, you're using it just like you normally would. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that this isn't anywhere near me, touching me at all. And then you sort of finish it up like you normally would. Um, I'm making this, like, like I said, a 50-50, which is going to just, it's basically because I, I'm gonna be using this in a pod system. So um, I don't want to, um, you know, have any issues with it going through the, the coil at all. So there we have it. It's done. Concentration is done. It's really simple. You know, using it like you would a uh, regular, regular old free base nicotine, except you have a little bit more customizable options, which is great. You know, the more customizable options we have, the more people can, can get off of smoking. So I'm gonna fill up this little mead pot here with this, uh, this new juice. And I'm also gonna drip a little bit of it and uh, we're gonna get out of here. I'm actually getting really good flavor from this from this recipe. It's nice and smooth too. This is at six milligrams. And this is normally would just put me on my ass if I'm using free base. You know, I wouldn't even be able to choke it down. It's just so harsh to me. But with the nicotine salts, it's just so smooth. Um, I do get like a nice little tropical sweetness going on. Uh, for the most part, I am getting nice, nice good flavor. And I think this recipe would do great in any sort of pod system. You know, the Von Earl, uh, the Jewel, if you break those things open, or, you know, the Soar and Drop, any other one of those, the Badge. You're not, now you're not getting this full on punch in the face, saturated vape like you would with a dripper. Um, but that's to be expected with these, you know, you vape a drool, you just get like a wisp of mango or a wisp of tobacco. Um, same thing kind of goes for this. I would say it's a little bit more flavorful than that, but uh, you know, it's not, it's nothing too crazy. But we can drip it, which is another good thing about being able to make your own juice. 
you know, you can uh, do it however you want. So we're gonna drip it as well. And now the flavor is full on. Um, it is a little, it can, I do feel a little bit more of the nicotine in there, but the flavor is full on, punch you in your face saturation. It's great. This is perfect for those who really want to, add a, they don't want to vape as much, right? That's the thing when you drop down lower. Sometimes you, you supplement that with more vaping, uh, with the nicotine salts, you increase it a little bit and you don't pick your vape up as much, you know? And it tastes great. This is a great little recipe. I guarantee you guys will enjoy it if you like tropical flavors. Play around with recipes. Um, remember, keep them nice and simple, nice and linear, nice and bold, and you won't have any issues. And crank those percentages up there. And also, be careful if you use this stuff. I don't recommend it, and I don't encourage it, but if you do, be, be, be careful with it. Um, and uh, remember that you are vaping a higher milligram, so don't just start ripping it away. Uh, because you will get a little lightheaded, a little dizzy at first, and you know you don't want nothing like that. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, this answers all of your nicotine salt questions that you may have. Um, and you know, leave some feedback down in the comments. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask me at support at diyordivaping.com. Shoot over some questions, and I'll. Uh, I'll get back to you. Also, don't forget to head over to DIYordivaping.com. That way you can check out that other article, Mixing for Closed System Devices, as well as any other articles about DIY e-liquid mixing, flavor development, I got flavor reviews over there, other podcast videos, and more. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm out of here. Keep mixing. Much love. Peace.